Number one, you have to find an instructor who's patient. If I were you in this time period, I would do some research on the schools. I would go visit. I've always learned to go see a virtual driving school, an in-person driving school. Go talk to the boss. You want a school that is really working with an age group in your category. Um, most driving schools today have a teen program, they have an adult program, they have a program to help drivers who maybe have been in accidents, who maybe have been in a traumatic shock situation. Um, go talk to those instructors. The next one, you want someone who's nice, who's not going to yell at you. Um, you can't be scared. You have to overcome that fear, overcome that anxiety. You want an instructor who's going to give you directions in advance. I want to see the rear of the tires on the ground. And when you have an instructor who's going to speak to you in an adult-like fashion, not treat you like a child, you're going to connect. They, you have to have discipline, and good instructors have that kind, loving discipline who are not going to grab that wheel take your womanhood away, take your manhood away. You want an instructor who's going to give you visual demonstrations. Okay, we're going to have people walking across. You're going to have people who will back out in front of you. Every instructor is different. They're, they give you directions in advance. They always want you to improve. So if I was recommending driving to all of you, I say a minimum of four to six lessons of driving.